Before we're getting into this video, I need to say that I have seen the documentary Life Itself about Roger Ebert, but I will not be reviewing it just yet because due to transportation issues, I got to the film a bit late. And even though the film is only about five minutes in, I do not feel right reviewing a film without having seen every single minute of it. So I'm gonna see it again sometime soon and then review it. And with that said, on to Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver. I really love this movie. The story finds a young Robert De Niro stalking the streets of New York via taxi cab. He is a very lonely Vietnam veteran who traps himself inside the cab all night and is willing to give anyone a ride. It does not matter what they do or say. He just drives and keeps quiet, his eyes slowly darting back and forth across the streets. It's a very quiet, eerie, dark, and thought-provoking portrayal of New York, and it features a one-of-a-kind performance by Robert De Niro. It also houses a cameo by Scorsese himself, which is one of the greatest director cameos in cinema history. Saddest thing is, when I saw this film for the first time, I was looking out for that cameo, and when it came on, I didn't even realize it. I then rewatched the scene after a friend told me that <laughs> that was, in fact, Scorsese, and... When I saw it again, I was blown away. The interesting thing is that he only did it because George Mamoli, who was supposed to do it, sustained an injury while shooting the farmer. Imagine if he hadn't gotten injured. It's a very bittersweet thought. What is also bittersweet is this movie as a whole because it is so well made, so well acted, it has one of cinema's most gut-wrenching final shootouts, and the script by Paul Schrader was written in five passionate days, but it is one of the most difficult films to sit down and watch. I have seen it a total of three times now. None of them have been on a whim. I have had to be in the mood, but each time I have watched it, I have found something new to love, and this time it was the shot that Scorsese claims is the most important shot in the movie. This one. The first two times I saw this shot, I did not like it. I thought it was distracting from the conversation between Travis and Betsy, but I now view it as Scorsese moving the audience away from an uncomfortable situation. I find this interesting because there are a lot of uncomfortable moments in this movie, but the camera only diverts from this one, a phone talk between a confused man and the woman that he admires. I'm thinking it could symbolize how when it comes to a man's work, he knows whatever the problem, it needs to be dealt with head on. But when it comes to relationships or potential ones, the problems are like long, desolate hallways men look to avoid at all costs but have to confront at some point. Because nobody wants to walk down that. But everyone does at some point. Lots of love also goes out to Jodie Foster, who pulls off a role few could at 12 years old. A lot of actresses audition for that role, but I cannot imagine them being as memorable as she turned out to be. But despite all the love I am giving this film, I cannot recommend it as the kind of film that you pop in to escape from the outside world. It's also not the best date movie. But it is the kind of film that a cinephile like myself can study and analyze until my brain hurts. But thankfully my brain is not hurt just yet. I am giving Taxi Driver 5 out of 5 stars. Thank you very much for your time. Have an awesome day.